गाइज मैनी ऑफ यू हैव बिन आस्किंग मी वेदर यू शुड गो ऑन ए प्रिवेंटिव कोर्स ऑफ डायमोक्स फॉर योर ट्रैक नाउ डायमोक्स और एसिटाजोलमाइड इज अ टैबलेट दैट हेल्प यू एक्लिमिटाइज फास्टर इट रेड्यूज योर चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग अक्यूट माउंटेन सिकनेस बाई अराउंड एट्टी परसेंट सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज कंसिडर टू फैक्टर्स वन इज योर एल्टीट्यूड एंड वन इज योर स्पीड ऑफ असेंट So if you're going anywhere between 12000 or 13000 feet which is very common in the Andes and the Rockies the Alps so if that's the altitude you're climbing to and if you're taking around 3 4 days to do this then you're quite say if you don't need to go on a preventive course of Dymox Basically what you're looking at here is whether you're acclimatized to th- to that altitude. So if you're taking around 3 4 days and slowly acclimatizing and climbing, then you don't need to go on a preventive course of Dymox. On the other hand, if you're climbing in the Indian Himalayas or the Nepali Himalayas where the mountains ascend very quickly, then it's always better to be on a preventive course of Dymox, especially if you're climbing to over 14, 15, 16, 000 feet, which is very common in the Indian and Nepali Himalayas. According to science, you're supposed to climb just around 1000 feet or 300 meters on a daily basis. That's how your body will cope and acclimatize better. But in the Himalayas you're climbing much faster than your body can cope you're climbing around 2000 3000 feet in one single day so that's when your body needs a kind of a catalyst to help it acclimatize and that's what Dymox does so it's always safer to be on a preventive course of Dymox on these treks that climb above 14 15000 feet Now Dymox is a sulfur based drug so if you have uh, if you're allergic to sulfur based drugs then don't take it ask your doctor speak to your doctor maybe if you don't know if you're allergic take it 2 3 weeks before your trek see how your body reacts to it and then take it another thing that Dymox does is that it makes you urinate more often which makes you more thirsty so you're constantly drinking more water which is a good thing because you need to be hydrated a lot more at high altitude than you are at lower altitude so that's how you decide whether you want to take dymox or not if you still have doubts because it is a complex topic then just drop in a comment or write to me on trek with swati at indiahikes.in And guys if you want more information about Dymox or acute mountain sickness maybe hape haze we're always talking about it on my channel so make sure you hit subscribe thank you